Hello and welcome to Behind the Bearcat. This is the podcast where the Northwest Missouri State University Career Services Office chats with Northwest faculty, staff, students, alumni, and friends to hear about their career journeys, how they got to where they are, and how they became Bearcats. I'm Northwest Internship Coordinator Travis Klein. And I'm Hannah Christian, the Assistant Director of Career Services. And today, as our guest, special guest, we have originally hailing from Kansas City, Missouri, a graduate of the Northland Caps program and current web assistant who runs the Marketplace store for Northwest, Nolan Harless. Hello. Hi. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Hey, Nolan. All right. So I have worked. So full disclosure here. I have worked with Nolan from the very day one, because for whatever reason on this campus, I always get put in charge of setting up the stores. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. yep, we I don't know what happens there, but we've yep. set up several stores together. Oh, yeah. Um, so Nolan. So I always ask this question. I like to start out with it. What was your very first job? My okay. So my very first job would have to be working for a company called Snacks on Racks as a web designer. Um, I got this position through Northland Caps, the Northland Caps program. And uh, so for people that don't know, the Northland Caps program is essentially a program where they take a bunch of high school students and they separate them by their interests. So they have um, the technology solution strand, the medical strand, and uh, they put them into a professional skills-based course kind of. And they, they, te they teach them tons of different stuff. So like for the first, my fall semester, they taught us how to do mock interviews. And then they moved on to like how to tie a tie, um, proper handshaking techniques. Like can't do that now, but that, that was a thing that we, we did. And um, so like this whole program really kind of like it sets you up for going into a actual real world position, like an internship. And then the uh, spring semester, that's when they, they hand you this giant packet. It's like 25 pages long <laughs> of all the different uh, businesses that are looking for uh, internship positions. And they, you look through that 25 page deal and you pick out your top three that you would like. And um, at the time when I was in the technology solution strand, I picked like Cerner as my top one. And then my other two were like Hallmark and then some other design firm in Kansas City and um, the voting process ended. And then a day after that, they told me uh, that I didn't get any of my top three picks. And uh, so I was really bummed out by that. But then a week after that, my teacher and my instructor at the time for NCAPS pulled me aside and they said, hey, there, uh, there are, he said, there's this uh, company called Snacks on Racks that's looking for a web design intern. Would you be interested? And he knew at the time that I was uh, very interested in all things web design. And so I took up that position in the spring and I worked on creating a website for Snacks on Racks. And uh, it, it was, that was one of the best experiences that I think like one of the most proudest achievements that I have was creating that website because I, I actually created something for a business. And then also it's, it's a website, like everyone can access it. And so I was really proud of it. And I, I believe, so it starts, it's a spring semester that I'm in snacks on racks and um, during this, the summer starts to roll around and I'm not really finished with this website yet. I have about three or four more systems that I have to set in place, like the shopping page and different database things that I had no idea how it, they worked at the time. Cause I'm still a high school student and I, I'm, this is the first time I've ever built a website in my life. And um, I tell my manager, and I'm really upset about it, but I tell her, and I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I, I don't think I'll be able to finish this website for you on time. And I felt awful about it. And she very kindly, like this woman who owns this Snacks on Racks, and by the way, Snacks on Racks is a wholesale snack uh, distribution um, based in, they're in Parkville, Missouri. Are they and, in the, the caves with Park University? Are they yep, located in there? Yep, I, we yep. visited them, actually. Yeah. When I very first started in career services, that was one. When I did CAP stuff, we visited that business. Yeah, and they, they talked about awesome. how they had a high school student. I bet it was you. <laughs> I bet it was <laughs> we were talking right, yeah. about. A small world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, I, I, uh, I told her. Well, she, well she's awesome because she, she made so much time for me during my internship. And I'll, I'll, that was so valuable to me that the advice that she instilled into me she so like in the morning she would be doing invoices and then in the afternoon she would work on uh she'd be in the 
uh, what's it called, warehouse, and she would be, you know, packaging tons of candy into boxes and different snacks, and then she would be printing FedEx labels. Like, she had a lot going on, and yet she still made time for me. And it, so she, towards the end of my internship, I, I felt bad, and I had told her, I'm not going to finish this website on time. I'm so sorry. Um, and she said, oh, well, how about this? Uh, in the summertime, uh, I'll hire you full-time to work on this website and get it finished because she knew that this website would be a very important piece on a portfolio. And, um, and, th and that was huge because I was like, yes, 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 I would like to do that because I, I couldn't just, you know, abandon her and be like, no, this isn't going to work. So I was, I was really thankful for her for letting me do that and finish the website. And I did. And that, that summer, I finished that website and you can find it on snacksonracks.com. So plug. she's still using the website. <laughs> she's still using the website. Sweet. Yeah. And it's, Excellent. it was designed by me and it, it's really cool. And um, it's one of my most proudest achievements. So that's the first job I've, I ever had. <laughs> Wow, I, I, I'm, I'm a little speechless, honestly. Mm -hmm. Travis oh, has a you. question, but like, <laughs> yeah, sorry, for the awesome. first... I know I talk forever there. No, that's, that's good. good. <laughs> yeah, so that being exposed to that at, at a young age, you know, you're in high school, it's your first job, did mm -hmm. that have an impact on the major you chose when you decided to go to college? Because you're, you're doing computer science stuff now, so. Yeah, th so that whole in caps uh, for the first semester, I started to learn, uh, I wanted to do web design, because they, they separate you into different, like, oh, you're learning back-end server mm -hmm. stuff, and there's front-end development. And for whatever reason, I I picked it up very quick. And I, I, it, I usually the stuff that I do, what it does is it crashes. <laughs> Every time I try running it, it just it doesn't work. And for some reason with web design, I was just getting it. And um, I knew that technology, from the, like, from the, why I enrolled in the technology solution strand to begin with, was because I was so interested in technology and I wanted to get somewhere within that field. And so I, I just, I knew I would want to do something, maybe it's like web design or graphic design, something creative, maybe merge the two. And um, yeah, the technology solution strand though, like with the NCAPS program really kind of solidified where I wanted to go in terms of my major for computer science. And also they offer, Northwest offers the IDM emphasis, which is the interactive digital media emphasis. And they offer, so it's like a creative um, sort of spinoff of the computer science program. And I was like, that's, that's me. <laughs> I'll, I'll enroll. And uh, yeah, so I mean, that's one of the reasons too, that why I came to Northwest is because they offered specifically that program. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. So do you, I'm going to go back a little further. Normally with students, yeah. <laughs> I don't go back a little further, but that was a, I, I, like I said, that's an amazing first job. Um, but let's go back. So were you always interested in computer things or, and, or how did you get into CAPS? Is that something that students, you know, opt into? Um, talk to me yeah. about that. Yeah. So I, I always knew, like ever since I was a kid, I've always like been, very interested in tech and like how stuff works. I, 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 first of all, I was really interested in all things creative. I remember I would do like little stick figure animations and I would post them to YouTube actually. <laughs> and none of them got any hits, but it, it, I, I really was interested in all things animation. And then like it transitioned into drawing and logo building for different store. Like I was just testing the waters out and, um, when I got into the, or what, for the technology solution strand, uh, I heard about it through my high school, through an advisor, and she said there was this program, and it, it, you have to interview for the program, and you have to be accepted into it. Um, th this program is amazing. It's it's throwing kids into real world internship experiences, and I think that you'd be interested in it. And uh, they have a technology solution strand, which at the time I'm taking programming classes in high school as well, and. I'm just, I know I'm really interested and it seemed like a great opportunity because I only heard great things from it and I, I wanted to be a part of it and I, I enrolled. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. And you. so then that kind of led you to Northwest and you mm -hmm. knew you already had a pretty good grasp that you wanted to do um, computer things and creative. I love yep. that website is a huge opportunity for that. Yeah, um, definitely. So how did you get, so as a web assistant or where you currently work now, 
how did you find that position? How did you interview for it? Like, how did you position yourself to have that student employment position that then builds on what you're doing in your major? Yeah. Um, so I found the uh, web assistant position. I found it through the, I think it might've been like on Northwest website somewhere, like in the job position openings. And uh, I was looking through there. I knew I needed a job. And I, I just happened to see there's a web assistant, like, and it's all things they're looking for someone who can do HTML and CSS and make stores. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's, that's perfect. Like, okay, I'll, I'll audition for that. And um, I got myself ready for the interview process. It was my freshman year. So it was before I got to move in to Northwest, I interviewed and I got all prepared and I got my little suit and tie and everything. And um, I, and I, uh, I, talk, I talked to Diana Heitman at the time and Lindsay Stapley, I believe. And we uh, just talked about, you know, like the, what I would be doing. Um, so the web assistant job position and went in and interviewed. Um, I think it was just a lot of like, what was your past experience? And um, like, are you comfortable with things like HTML and CSS and uh, using like different content managers, managers like WordPress or Wix. Um, so it was a lot of that. And I, I was pretty comfortable with all that. And, um, I heard about a week later that I was hired for the web assistant job and I've been there since freshman year <laughs> and I'm so, a senior now. So, so you found the position. So you were looking for mm -hmm. jobs on the Northwest website before you even got here. Yes. Yeah. I think a lot of students <laughs> don't realize that you can, you can literally look for jobs. Mm -hmm. Like they'll be posted anytime. Like you don't have to wait until oh, yeah. you're actually at Northwest to get a position. And you're actually at an advantage too. If you look at it beforehand, mm -hmm. it, it, it just shows that, you know, you're, you're looking for like it, most people, they, you know, they apply like a week into the semester. And then by then almost, you know, all the, like the web assistant job is perfect. <laughs> and I, I really do think that if I would have waited an extra week, I wouldn't have been involved with the web assistant position in the bursar's office. Like, I don't think that that would have, uh, would have fallen through. So I think time is of the advantage. That's a good point. Yeah. There would have been a lot more candidates if oh, you would yeah. have waited until school started. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. And you know, we talk about career ready day one and I mean, four years, you're going to have work experience doing e-commerce website development, working yeah. with those back ends plus your education, plus your cap. I mean, you're going to graduate with more experience than some people who've been working for four to seven years. I mean, that's oh, crazy. You. <laughs> that, you <laughs> yeah. know, you put that in and it's going to pay off when you're out there looking for jobs because yeah. you're going to have all that experience on top of the education, on top of the high school stuff you did. So that's, that's amazing. So yeah, that's a oh, really good, you. really good way to go about it, to find a job yeah. like that that fits and then keep it all through your career. And yeah, you mm -hmm. know, you've probably gained responsibilities as that, as time mm -hmm. has gone on in that position. So. Yeah, Definitely, that's yeah. A, Northland Caps really taught me too that you never really want to leave holes in your resume. Like you absolutely. don't want to have gaps where there's like, oh, what were you doing for three months that summer? <laughs> you weren't working? Okay. No, you want to make sure that you are always, always working. And I, I find it enjoyable to learning different things. And if you can kill two birds with one stone, learn things, and then also... You get, know, paid. Have, get paid. Get <laughs> paid. Yeah. Kill three birds. You get experience, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Um, so I, I just think it's of the advantage also to make sure that you're always, uh, you're always learning and you're always, uh, in a position, like you're always in an internship or working, you know, just make sure that you're always bettering yourself, <laughs> I guess. So I know Nolan that you have also had a couple of other internships um, have, while you've been yep. here at Northwest. Can you talk about those? Um, so while I've been here at Northwest, I, so during last summer, I was interning for a company called Propaganda 3, and they are based in Kansas City, downtown Kansas City. Small and shout out. We had Grace, are. who works oh, at really? Propaganda 3, a couple of episodes back. So Travis oh, really? can relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> I will. Yeah, it'll be up in the right awesome. hand corner. So <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, uh, yeah, I work for them. And I, uh, throughout my time there, I actually learned how to make Alexa skills. I got to make sure there's no like Alexas around me that are going to go <laughs> off. It, and the other one, I can't mention the assistant names. They'll go off. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I worked on some voice assistants and I, I worked on how to like make sure that their applications or make sure that I made applications for companies like custom things that you could say. So like, like a business would come to me and they say, okay, I want 
for my company, we're going to ship out 10 or 20 voice assistants. And then we're going to, you need to have like a, oh, like a custom thing to stay. And they'll and then the voice assistant will say it back to you because it's already preloaded with this application that you build. And so that was what I learned throughout my time at Propaganda 3. And then of course, the other basic things too, like the, I, I got to experience like shadow some web designers and some graphic designers there. And they were extremely helpful too. Like they're, they're awesome people down there. <laughs> so what do you, th how did you go about, I think a lot of students, maybe if students are watching, how would you recommend going about finding um, an internship in your area? What was, what helped you be successful in that? Yeah, um, I, I would say, what would I say? <laughs> um, the best thing that I would do is just look on, you can look on LinkedIn. I think LinkedIn's a huge resource. I mean, they got job postings on there and some of them are looking for internship positions as well. Um, and then always be, yeah, just look online. Um, you can even look in career, career services. You could go there and they'll help you find out some amazing different internships that you can get involved in. Um, did you find Propaganda 3 on LinkedIn? How did so you find I, that? my cousin worked there and uh, Brett Pudence <laughs> and I got to, I networked, well, since he's my cousin, uh, he put in a good word for me and I got uh, involved with Propaganda 3, uh, 3 through that way. So also network is important, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, Networking career services huge. have cousins in good, good spots. Yeah. The, <laughs> actually the, for Snacks on Racks, when I finished that website, I had no idea, but uh uh, her husband worked for Cerner and he was a manage, uh, manager with threatened vulnerability management team. And I had no idea. <laughs> and so I finished this website and she's like, Oh, well, I, the, Hey, this opportunity is here. Do you want to take, and I'm like, yeah. So like networking is like massive. Like if you can, I would always just make sure that you're, you're networking with people, talking with people, treating people with respect to, you know, like, mm -hmm. you know, make sure that you're, always impressing i guess i don't know but make sure that you're always just networking with people because it could lead to uh some advantages like you could potentially get yourself a good position through networking i think it's huge absolutely so yeah. what's the career goal so you're a senior so you're going to graduate soon so what, yes. the, what 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 are the what, what's your site set on for when you're finished with all this oh let's see um i know i want to do something probably in the tech field, I know that for sure. Um, but I kind of want to merge it with something more creative. I don't know if it's exactly like logo making or making designs like for companies. Uh, it might be like a, a merge of the two. So maybe web development and graphic design somewhere within there, or it, it, even if it's product design, because I did a little bit of product design for Hallmark cards. And um, I found that to be very interesting as well. Uh, that whole process. So it really anywhere creative, I think for me, um, and it, maybe it's not even tech, but I do like tech. <laughs> and uh, so maybe anywhere in the creative field, I can see myself getting into. What do you like about, um, cause I think this is interesting. A lot of, I think a lot of people don't equate tech and creativity, mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's becoming a, a bigger and bigger thing. Like creative thinking is not just about like whether you're a good artist or whether you can draw things or whether you, you know, it's about different ways of thinking. So talk to me about how you view creativity, especially like in relationship to tech. Yeah. Uh, I, so creativity to me, uh, sorry, I'm thinking, <laughs> um, creativity to me is basically just, I, I, I find, there's some enjoyment like satisfaction out of creating something and especially creating something with your hands and uh making something like say like for instance like a website or like a drawing it starts out with a, just a piece of paper or a blank page on on the internet and if you can do something to like influence and, and make something you feel good at the end you feel satisfied that you know, you're like wow i made that that's really cool <laughs> and I, I think there's some sort of enjoyment out of creation or creating, um, and especially with tech as well, because like you can, you can actually make like programs that create stuff for you. Even um, it, it's just it, it. I think tech and creativity are, are great things, and uh, create. Yeah, like like I said, yeah, creating stuff on paper, 
like withdrawing <laughs> for me it, it's just it's a cool experience to be able to, and it's also kind of therapeutic I think because when you're creating stuff it's uh your, your mind gets you get into like a zone where like you tune out everything around you and you don't you don't think about that next test that's coming up <laughs> or you know you just kind of you you focus on the piece of paper the pen in your hand or maybe it's your mouse and keyboard and you go from there <laughs> and it's just it's very it's a nice therapeutic experience <laughs> so do you have any uh, words of wisdom or tips and tricks for maybe younger students, students that, you know, maybe are just starting out in school? How can they um, make the most of their time here? Uh, yeah, I would say one, the, the big, big one, network, talk to people. And I, I don't think that I, I even networked enough. Like, I, I would put networking on a pedestal because it's just it's huge you, if you talk to people the opportunities that present themselves are, are huge um, so always make sure if you're talking to your professors or teachers make sure that you're communicating with them they are huge resources um, don't be afraid to talk to them you know they've they've also been what you got to remember too is they've been in your seat as well yeah. and they're willing and they're always willing to help that's what they do they teach they, they help uh, kids get into different careers or interns or they even help them in general. So just don't be afraid to ask for help, I think is huge, um, as well as networking. And um, always be researching as well, like go online, LinkedIn, um, and make sure you're leaving like comments and posting. I don't do it enough, I need to, but posting on LinkedIn is is huge You because it, it pops up on everyone's feeds and, everyone, and someone can look at what you've uh, wrote on online and they can go oh wow he, he responded that really nicely and I think that's uh like I think that's a good good fit uh, or a good guy for the position because he was able to respond so elegantly and he yeah knows it's what also he's a form about. of networking right it I is. mean it's kind it of is. is connect with everyone that you can really yeah and and if you don't have a LinkedIn profile set that up <laughs> like <laughs> immediately as well because like that that'll be huge um and resume like make sure that you go to career services and get your resume tailored like I, I've gotten my resume tailored from career services twice now and I found out one you can't have copyrighted images on your resume I thought as a designer I was like oh yeah I'm gonna have Cerner like the logo on there can't do that <laughs> that's no. that's not good <laughs> and I had no idea and yeah and I, th I think there that's a very valuable resource as well so go there and um, get your resume tailored and yeah, there's a lot of other services that are out there that you can look at. But yeah. <laughs> All right. So another question. Yeah. For you, what does it mean to be a bear cat? What does it mean to be a bear cat? Um, I would say being kind and courteous to other people, really, because uh, making sure that you're just uh, – network like talking with people and making sure you're treating them with kindness and respect always um because it you you find that one you make friends and then the whole networking thing and uh it's just it, it's it's very valuable that you put yourself out there and you don't be scared either i think and um but just always be kind i think that's like my my whole motto that i like i live by is always just try to be kind and make sure that you're doing your best. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Absolutely. So <laughs> I've started at the end, like giving my interviewees some space to just eloquently, just <laughs> extemporaneously speak. So now we're going to give you some open space to just, what does Nolan have to put out in the world? Like we're going to give you what? your five seconds <laughs> of just like, let it go, Nolan. What do I have to, um, I don't know what I have to put out into the world. Um, I yeah, just for incoming students, um, I we're going to have a marketplace mall set up <laughs> on Northwest.com or North whatever the URL is, and from there you can look at different events and you can get yourself involved with the school a lot easier. Um, I think that'll be a huge resource for it just and not even incoming students uh for everyone to be able to go on there and i don't know the exact url off the top of my head but if you search it i think you can find it and um it's it, i think that'll be huge because people can look at the different stuff that's happening in the school and, and really get yourself involved and meet new people network always 
and um, be kind and wear your mask. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, yeah, just uh, just be make sure that you are treating others the way that you want to be treated. And uh, yeah, that's my little words of advice, I'd say. And then that's good words of advice. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so where, right. if somebody wants to find you, where can they find you? You know, if there's an employer listening to this that goes, I've got to hire that guy, you know, yeah. where, where can they find you online? Or in the, in we the would like to funnel all of your job applications Absolutely. to the correct spot. Yeah. Awesome. And yeah, thank you. Um, I would say, okay, so uh, the good news is about my name is that not a lot of people have it. So mm -hmm. basically Nolan Harless is my URL for everything. So like Instagram, I have Instagram, Nolan Harless. I have LinkedIn, Nolan Harless. Snapchat, Nolan Harless. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's any other socials. Facebook, I don't really tend to use that much. But yeah, and then Gmail is just my name. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Nolan. Thank We've you. had a great interview. I appreciate Absolutely. that you taking the time to, to chat with us. You know, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. All right. Well, that'll do it for another episode of Behind the Bearcat, and we'll talk to you next time. Hey, guys, we hope you enjoyed that episode. Don't forget to follow on your podcast platform of choice and on YouTube. Also, click the little notification bell on YouTube so you never miss an upload. And you can follow us on social media on Twitter, Instagram, and we have a LinkedIn page.